Good morning everyone, Australian time. Short video, um, question is just another scam tactic or truly remorseful? You tell me. <laughs> Meet Nathan Fillion who tried to follow me, right? So this was, you know, a, about a week ago. So I'm sorry, but I'm not accepting follow requests from people claiming to be famous. Too many fakes out there, I'm afraid. Just FYI, right? So he comes back this morning. There are so many fake accounts out there impersonating me. Have been getting so many complaints from my fan about those fake accounts have created an awesomeness on that. And that was also the reason I created this private Instagram account so that I can reach out to as many of my fans I can to get them informed about what's going on. Wow, that... that word soup was actually really hard to read. Please make sure to be careful out there, okay, he informs me. I said, oh, I'm always careful, hence the courtesy message to all fakes asking to follow me. You guys are easy to spot, thankfully, being so nonsensical that it makes it easy for us. What do you mean you guys are so easy to spot? said our now concerned and angry scammer. I said, I'm not helping you get better at this. You better watch what you say, okay? I didn't message you, you messaged me, Frost. I said, so? Well, there he is again. I said, you tried following me with a dodgy profile and a fake character. We both know you aren't him. You must be out of your senses. I said, and you must be from a non-English speaking country, but here we are. It would have been better you didn't message to me. You just messaged me and showed me that you're nothing but a fool. You would have kept your opinions to yourself better than coming to my DM to show me how coward behaves. <laughs> said our very triggered and very cowardly scammer. I said, LOL. If I made a profile of, let's say, Falls, who's a famous Nigerian rapper, I said you'd know immediately that I wasn't real. You can't persist with a fake profile. It's evil. And a coward is someone who lies to people in order to get clients to remit. That's a coward. You don't know anything. You are acting smart. But deep down, you are not smart. Our stupid scammer informs me. I said, uh-huh. Keep telling yourself that. Does your mother know what you're doing? Not only that is a coward. You are a person is a coward. Because you're fooling yourself on my DM and showing you are smart when you are not, he tells me. I said, I'll bet you a $100 Steam card you don't have an American accent. And I'd win that bet. LOL, that's your own problem. You can take your $100 and get the hell out. <laughs> I said, if I'd let you follow me, you would have continued to lie and then present yourself as someone famous. What you're doing hurts real people. Don't you have a moral compass? Who do why oh, sorry, who do you think you are? Or do you think I can't afford a hundred dollars? said our scammer who can't afford a hundred dollars. Don't think I'm broke like you, old fool. And around I'd win that bet. Good for you. I said, No, you can't afford it, otherwise you wouldn't be here lying. And good for me. I said, Yes, yes it is. Laughing emoji he sends, right? I said, why not be yourself? Why lie about who you are? Are you so sad and small that you have to pretend like a child? I'm genuinely asking. I'm very sorry for insulting you and I'm sorry for pretending to be who I'm not. I'm sorry and I hope you can forgive me. That was a very sudden change because a scammer just went, ooh, money, money, money. I said, I know things are bad over there. I get it, but this isn't the way, sweetheart. I'm very sorry. Crying emoji. I said, you're forgiven. Are you sure about that? He said. I said, have a nice evening and please don't approach people with this profile. Yes, you're forgiven. Make better choices. Goodbye. I promise I won't, he says. And he's probably got about six people that he's chatting with under this profile. Thank you very much. I really do appreciate that. Please, who are you? <laughs> I said, I'm from Australia, and no, I'm not looking for friends. I appreciate the honesty, finally, and I'm sure if you reach out to other young people as yourself, you will make friends. Have a good evening and take care. Oh, all right. And who told you I'm young? I said, I know you are. It's evident by how you respond, your vernacular, and statistically most romance scammers are aged between 18 or 27. I think you're about 20. Um, and just want to interject, no, I don't know if that's what the statistics say. I actually have to Google it, but 
let's face it, the scammer doesn't know either. I said, I'm not having a go at you. I'm just saying it's good to be young. You should be out looking for work and being with your girlfriend and mates. Oh, I see. You are right, though. I'm actually 20 years old. And how the hell you know that? He puts a very puzzled face. I said, hello, Al. I said, I'm sorry, but it's obvious. Your emotional maturity shows even through chat. Well, he says, life over here in Nigeria is very hard. It's not like living in Australia or any other country. I don't have a job and I also don't have a girlfriend, he says, hoping to romance me now as himself. And around being obvious, he goes, really? And wow, I see, around his emotional maturity. I said, look, I know it's hard and trust me, there are places in Asia just as bad, if not worse. Well, go out, do something nice for someone tomorrow and karma will find a way to give you joy. Take care. But our guy will not be diverted. Well, I really like you and I would really love for us to get along that well. You are such an amazing person and I think I like you as an amazing person. You've been nice to me, he says. I said, with all due respect, no thank you. I tried being a friend to a scammer once and he still asked for money. So very politely, so as not to offend you, because I know he's got the emotional maturity of a potato, I said, no thank you, right? And check out my video with can you be friends with scammers, right? I said, and he goes, so you can't give me a chance to prove myself to you as a better person? I said, you don't need to prove it to me. You need to show yourself. I said, karma's real, dude, and you're too young to get corrupted by the scams and the nonsense. The universe gives back what you put out. I firmly believe that. I understand what you're saying, and you're right about that. Dot, 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 dot. The country where I'm from teaches us to survive in any way possible we can. That's why you see people like me involving ourselves into all this fraudulent act. Believe me, it's not my intention in doing such, but the society gives no choice than to get involved in all this to survive. No work nothing to survive with, so how do you want me to go out and do something meaningful? How do you want me to show myself? Now, I'm not in any way trying to make light of his situation over there. I know it's terrible, but I've also done some studies, and I know that there are plenty of labouring jobs. There are there are jobs out there, right, if you really want it, and plenty of scammers have openly admitted to just not wanting the work. It's just easier to scam and makes more money. I said, I know. I said, but what ends up happening is that someone around the world loses all their money, their house, their family, and has their heart played with, and then scammers move on to the next one. There are real consequences. You know that suicide rates go up with romance scams. People actually kill themselves because they've lost everything. Not saying that's you, but that's what happens every single day. Because this guy needed a reality check, right? He's 20. And around how he wants to show himself, I said, that's up to you. I know personally that I'd rather beg on the street or clean toilets than steal from someone and then brag about it on social media. But that's just me. Maybe get some sleep and see how you feel in the morning. Goodbye and take care. Yeah, you're right about that. I literally don't want to get myself in involved in such act anymore and I feel so bad for doing such. I strongly believe that you can be able to change me because I feel so comfortable sharing myself with you and I know there's nothing God cannot do, said our scammer who's now going to try plan B. Or do you guys think I'm wrong and he genuinely wants to be friends? <laughs> no, <laughs> sorry, I can't say that with a straight face. So I'm not going to engage anymore because as you see, I've got Robert Robbie Williams and a few others here that are hitting me up. Have a great day, guys. Um, this was sorry for such a short one. I'll try and make a nice long one later. Um, have a great day. I said that already. Like, subscribe, comment. Um, bye.